Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a gorgeous set of mint green nails to show you. So as always I've started off and I've sanitised my hands and I've sanitised my client's hands. And I'm going in with my cuticle pusher and just pushing back those cuticles. And this client doesn't really have much cuticle growth. Her nails are really, really healthy and beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm going in now with the diamond cuticle bit and I'm just going to gently go around that the sidewall and cuticle areas. But again, I don't need to be vigorous. This client does not have a lot of growth. So I'm really just focusing on getting it off the nail plate or any, you know, dead skin that is on the nail plate. <laughs> I'm then going to go in with my fine sanding band which I have scored so that it is nice and smooth at the end and not going to cause any cuts or any damage. Um, I'm using this on a super low speed and I'm literally just tickling over that nail plate just to etch it to give the acrylic something to adhere to. So now I'm going to spray with dehydrator and clean the nails really really well making sure there is no dust or debris or dirt or anything left on that nail plate and they are completely free from oils. I will then apply my forms and go in with my primer. So today I'm using my Alpha number no. 8 brush and it is a bigger brush than what I have been using lately and so my liquid to powder ratio was a little bit off and it was a little bit more runny than I would have liked it to be but it was just on this one nail just because I haven't used this brush for a while and I just ended up picking up a little bit too much product as well so you can see me there just swiping that away <laughs> Trying to keep the shape as true as I would like it, so filing is just minimal. I'm then going to take my cover pink, and this is a more, and I'm placing it at the cuticle area. I'm going to blend that back of the bead using my brush as a barrier, so I'm not touching any of the skin, and then patting it around so it's all covered with the product. And then I'm going to drag that product down the rest of the nail to create a blend, and also to create my apex because I don't need to cap this nail bed area. The only bit I will need to cap is the blend. Um, because we don't want to file that away, which you see me doing here with crystal glass. Really, really tiny bead just to protect the ombre. So for some reason I must have stopped recording by accident or not as I was doing something but didn't press record again. So basically all I've done is put my pinching tool on the baby finger and then I've already built a clear structure on this ring finger and I'm going to go in with some glitter fairy mirror shards in opalite. Just being extra cautious around the sidewall and cuticle area making sure that I'm not creating any bulk and that I'm flattening all that glitter down with my brush so that when we go to encapsulate we're not going to encapsulate in them areas that are prone to when you over bulk that you file into and off and it's just a real pain in the bum when you have to go back and rectify your application because you've filed it off. So just bear in mind when you are applying glitters that you are absolutely flattening it down and keeping it nice and minimal around them areas that are prone to um, having bulk to them which you, in areas that you don't want bulk basically. So on the middle finger we are just going to do a full nail of apple shine. And I always start off at the free edge. Um, sometimes I'll do one beads, sometimes I don't. With colours, I like to always start off at the free edge and make my shape real nice as I can with my brush. My application is not perfect by far. I mean, sometimes I do rely on my file a lot. But, you know, we get there in the end. But this is just my way, how I prefer to do it. And that is by doing the free edge area first. 
placing the pinching tool on the ring finger and then going back in with the cuticle bead. So as always, place it at the cuticle area, patting it from side to side, using the tip of my brush as a wall from the product to the skin so that we're not gonna push it into the cuticle or get any on the skin. And then I am gonna go ahead and cap this nail as well. So my battery died on my phone and I had to <laughs> put it on charge and but on the index finger was just another apple shine ombre and on the thumb I just did a glitter blend with a pink nail bed but you will see that when I apply top coat and stuff as well. I'm just really sorry that you didn't get to see the application which is why I came back and showed you all the filing. So I'll go in with this tapered bit and this is from Todak USA. It's called a tapered safety bit and I really like this bit to get in around the sidewall and cuticle area to make a nice flush application. And you can also go over the entire nail with this as well. And that's what I really like about this bit, it's really versatile. And it gets the job done without taking off too much as well. So I'm just going around the side walls, perfecting that shape or just refining that shape up and going over and under, trying to make it all even. And then when I'm doing it with the e-file, I will go in with my hand file and just refine the whole shape. So hand file, I go in, I do the free edge, I come in from behind the side walls and over the side walls and then I will go down the entire surface of the nail. So I'll go up my left side around the cuticle area and then I will come back over from the right side into the centre so that we're making a nice uniform finish, That the making sure that the cuticle area is nice and flush, making sure that the side walls are super straight, making sure there's no bulk in any areas and that it is a real smooth nail and all even and looking pretty pretty from every single angle and as you all know what I do is once the nail is starting to look good from my view I will then get my client to turn her hand around so I can see it from her view and if it needs any extra refining I will do that from that angle so I know that the nail is perfect. So next up I will have cleaned all of the dust and debris from all the nails making sure I will dust underneath as well because a lot of dust likes to hide under there and it really ruins the nails when you get top coat, when you put your top coat on and you get all dust in it, little bits, it's so frustrating. So I'm basically applying a thin layer of this, making sure I'm capping the free edge and going around the sidewall area. And then I'll get my client to place her hand in the lamp for 60 seconds. I wanna give this a, feel, a full cure. So on the middle finger, I did add some Swarovski crystals, but again, I didn't press record. I don't know what's going on today. I'm really, really sorry, but you have seen me put crystals on before. <laughs> After allowing the top coat to cool, I'll then go in with my cuticle oil to replenish those nutrients we've dehydrated out. And that's the finished video. I hope you've enjoyed this set of nails. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all and I'll see you all again in my next one. Bye.